International Olympic Committee for help. There's pressure against me, and they're trying to get me out of the country without my permission. So I'm asking the IOC to get involved in this. Simon Skaya was due to compete in the women 200 meter event on Monday, but had campaigned on social media about being entered into another race after some teammates were found to be eligible to compete. Karul says she was removed from the team because of her emotional state. State media has criticized her for lack of team spirit. And had criticized uh, officials within the team because uh, she was also being asked to take part in the 4x400m relay. And she said that's an event she hadn't practiced for or trained for and it's because of the incompetence of officials back in Belarus who'd failed to put other athletes through the required um, anti-doping tests prior to these games. Therefore, those athletes hadn't been able to compete. It has issued her a humanitarian visa. So she will leave in the coming days. The LOC has asked the Belarus Nation Olympic Committee for a full report into the issue. To the Belarus athlete Kristina Simonuskaya uh, directly last night. Um, she was with the airport authorities at Haneda Airport and was at the time accompanied by a staff member of Tokyo 2020. She assured us and has assured us that she feels safe and secure. She spent the night at an airport hotel in a safe and secure environment. Uh, the IOC and Tokyo 2020 will continue their conversations with her and the Japanese authorities to determine the next step in the upcoming days.